Bills win tonight <laughs> without question. Okay. Without right. question. The Bills, simply put, are a tough, hard-nosed football oh. team. And the Dolphins, until further notice, they showed a little bit against Jacksonville, but until further notice, they're break dancers. Are you sure the Bills are tough yep. this year? Yep. Okay. Yep. I Go think ahead. they're a tough team. I, I, I mean, I think they're leaning into the toughness. They got rid of finesse players, Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, so we can run the ball more. We got our two tight ends. and all, like they, They're playing big boy football. And sure, the Dolphins, and I admit it, they muscled up against Jacksonville, but muscle up against a playoff team. Muscle up against a good football team. And then I will put the breakdancing analogy to rest. Once you if they win tonight. No, it, it, this is just the first uh, step. Okay. This is the first that step. That would have been some real stakes. No, first Retired step. Break they just, it's unlike, see, yeah. for, uh, first game yeah. means well, everything. Well, what are we doing? Game. Why don't we just uh, we got 18 cancel the show? Weeks. We we'll have go 18 watch a cooking show weeks. until the playoffs. 18 weeks. Muscle up against a few yeah, playoff more teams. Than once, and sure. then we'll be done with the breakdancing. But, I got to interrupt real fast, and it, I'll let the rest of the clip play. But uh, Wilds just said the quiet part out loud. Because it's like they, the media feels that there needs to be stakes every single moment, every single game. It's why the media is always like, this is the most important game. If Tua doesn't win this game, if Josh Allen doesn't win this game, if whoever doesn't win this game, or if they play good, they play bad, it either makes or breaks them. Like, they need the stakes. And he's laughing at it. He's being a little sarcastic and tongue-in-cheek but because he's like, if there's no stakes, then, like, why, why watch it at all? And it's like... We can still enjoy this without having every single game, every single moment be do or die, right? Like, it's like people can't struggle to accept that, that, it, that it's okay. That we can say, you know what, it's going to take a few games for us to reach, a, to reach some conclusions. They think that it has to be today, this moment, otherwise people aren't going to tune in. And it's like, I'm curious of what you guys think about that at this point, because I think it's a very old-fashioned way of looking at... Um, you know, content consumption. I, I just think things have changed, especially with social media, YouTube, um, just all the stuff that's out there. I think once upon a time it needed to be like that, but not anymore. So, uh, yeah. Analogy. But you but like Buffalo tonight. I like Buffalo because Josh Allen owns the Dolphins. Yeah. Check out this graphic. 11-2 and two mm. against the Dolphins. Mm. Look at the yardage. Almost 300 a game. Nice completion percentage. Passer rating. Crazy Josh enough. isn't always, you know, that efficient. No. But again, you bring the Dolphins to town <laughs> or we go visit them and then he goes off. And the other thing is this. Tyreek Hill, who is incredible, isn't incredible against the Bills. Oh. Look at this. Look oh. at these numbers. And Tyreek won in the game last week against Jacksonville, but seven games in the regular season, and some of those are Chiefs the games. Chiefs, yeah, I was going right? to say they have. But only 52 yards a game, only two touchdowns in seven games. Now, I understand Buffalo's got a different defensive backfield now, of course, mm -hmm. but I still think they're going to be able to keep Tyreek in control, and so Buffalo. Okay, so, listen, I'm not going to make any predictions for this game at all. Um... I just don't love predictions to begin with, but Josh Allen is obviously an absolute beast. So do I think Josh Allen's not going to play good this game? Like, of course I do. But for some reason, this game keeps being built. And I talked about this in my more Miami Dolphins centered clip, and this is going to be more like centered around the Bills because um, these clips were broken up for some reason. Um, it's just not do or die. I feel like they're really setting this up where if the Buffalo Bills lose, it's, I told you Josh Allen is not good enough. Told you this team isn't good enough. It's too much. Can't carry the team. He's banged up. His wrist is this, that. And I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's fair. I, I mean, I understand this is a divisional game, but it's week two. Um, we're trying to act like winning this game is like winning the division. And it, it's just it's just not accurate. We can get excited for this game. We can pump it up. We can, you know, it's a standalone game. But we don't have to manufacture stakes. We don't we don't have to just make it up just for the sake of making it up. Um, I'm just really excited to see two teams going head-to-head -head that will be fighting for the division. 
and this is an er you get like you jump off to an early lead right you know because they're both one and oh and now facing each other they get to give a division rivalry a loss and they now get you know one of these teams gets to go to become two and oh especially with the jets being own one and come on i don't i don't think anyone thinks the patriots are going to be fighting for this division so you know it can be a big game in that way and it can continue some momentum but i i think for the most part um the Miami, uh, the Buffalo Bills, because because Nick in the previous clip kind of talked about how he thinks that, you know, because even Vegas has the Dolphins winning this game, um, that the, 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 the Bills are a little banged up and Josh Allen is banged up. And yeah, he, st he did still pick the Bills, although he seems genuinely surprised that it was a without a doubt from Brew that the Bills are going to win this. But I, I just think that the Bills are set up to be a better team at the very least early on in the only early on in the season because of the physicality of Josh Allen and what he will be able to accomplish at this part of the season um, because he they, they can rely on physicality. I'm really excited to see what the game plan is for Josh Allen um, and the Buffalo Bills, right? Are they going to rely more heavily on the run game? Are they going to stop having Josh Allen be more physical and kind of barrel through guys like he keeps doing, right? Like, what are what type of of approach are they going to establish? I, I don't know how good the defense is of the Miami Dolphins because I don't really think that the offense is this high powered offense for the Jaguars. Although I don't think um, Trevor Lawrence is this like you know awful quarterback, but I just don't know how much I believe in their offense. So I don't know what the big strong takeaway is from the from the Miami Dolphins versus the Jaguars. And looking at Josh Allen and the um and the Bills going up against the Cardinals, it was a high scoring game on both sides, right? So it's like hard to take away. And Kyler Murray is a very unique quarterback who I think when you're a quarterback like a like a um Kyler Murray or Lamar, you know, one of these really hyper athletic mobile quarterbacks, I think that's always a tough week one matchup no matter how good your defense is look at Lamar Lamar was really set up he could have torched uh the 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 Bills <laughs> the Bills the Chiefs um in week one I mean he did he ran on them all day and and had some guys wide open that he just didn't hit it was just his inability to execute why he didn't get to bring it home but it was there for his it was there for the taking it was there for that also to be a, a 30 plus point game right it, it really was um, and so that was just more in Lamar's failure to kind of execute in that moment, not because of the Chiefs' superior defense. And so, and 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 so again, it's just that that's why I continue that it's it's just hard um, to to really reach strong conclusions. So this game right here, to me, is going to be a great barometer, a great who are the Miami Dolphins, who are the Buffalo Bills, how resilient are both of these teams? Because I think also someone might be down. For the Dolphins, I'm not sure. Um, I forget it, 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 how that ended up uh, panning out, or if it's even been announced just yet. But I, I just think that this team, this game, will go is just going to be as advertised. I think it's going to be an exciting game. I think it should be a close game, quite frankly. Um, definitely more exciting than whatever the heck we watched on Monday. But I, I do think that Josh Allen is going to continue this momentum. And I think Josh Allen is going to continue his MVP campaign. I think Josh Allen is on a mission. I really do. I think Josh Allen has reached a breaking point where he's like, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Stop at this nonsense. Stop at this. I'm overrated. Stop at this. Stop, stop, stop. I can't win. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Stop. I know deep down in his heart, Josh Allen believes that he's better than Patrick Mahomes. I really do. I, I, I believe in his heart of all hearts, he thinks he is bigger, stronger, faster, better than Patrick Mahomes. And I think he is sick of seeing Patrick Mahomes just get all the glory, all the praise, while for the most part, Josh Allen gets plenty of hate, plenty of negativity. It's not cool to like the Buffalo Bills. It's certainly cool right now to like the Kansas City Chiefs. And I think he's just reached a breaking point. I do. What does that look like in practice? What does that look like game to game, week to week? I think we're about to find out. I do. Because you had people saying that Diggs made Josh Allen. That, that was arguably one of the most insane takes I've ever heard this offseason. That Diggs, that, that Josh Allen wasn't a good quarterback until Diggs. That Diggs made him. And believe me, that got back to Josh Allen. Believe me, it absolutely did. 
And I just think Josh Allen's just like, enough of this nonsense, man. I- I'm over this. Get out of here with this nonsense. And I think he has a point to prove this season. And I think he will. What does that mean for what the Bills are going to be able to achieve? I don't know. I really don't. Can their defense hold up? Can some of these newer offensive weapons come into their own? We're about to find out. And I think we truly start to find out tonight. And that's what the stakes are for me. We don't have to manufacture the stakes any more than that. The stakes are we get to find out who the Buffalo Bills are and Josh Allen. And on the other side, we get to find out who Tua and the Miami Dolphins are. Those are the stakes. That's what I'm excited for. And that's what I cannot wait to see tonight. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? Do you think um, you agree with Brew that without a doubt, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills win this game and that Josh Allen continues to dominate the Dolphins? Or do you think we're in for a surprise? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.